the, the National Brotherhood of Skiers is pushing for greater representation of black people in winter sports, which are predominantly white. Huh, so it seems like someone's a little jealous that we took their precious dunk <laughs> China is trying to help end the war in Ukraine and proposed a 12-part plan for peace. The catch is the 12 parts have to be assembled by children. <laughs> the U.S. Surgeon General is warning that children are joining social media at too young an age and they should wait until they're at least 16 when they're hotter. <laughs> <laughs> Chipotle has announced plans to hire 15,000 people to prepare for its busiest time of year, which they are calling burrito season. And toilets are calling the apocalypse. <laughs> the U.S. Department of the Interior has changed the name of Squaw Valley, California, because it is considered a derogatory term for Native American women. Okay, I don't understand how that name gets changed, and yet no one cares there's an entire town in New York that mocks my people. <laughs> For the first time ever, two brothers will be facing off against each other in the Super Bowl. Incidentally, two brothers in the Super Bowl is why my grandfather won't be watching. <laughs> On February, man, wow. Pope Francis criticized laws banning homosexuality as unjust, saying that it's not a crime, even though Catholic doctrine views homosexuality as a sin. He also stressed that Catholic doctrine views age as nothing but a number. <laughs> <laughs> Due to a computer error, a school in Massachusetts has been unable to turn off its lights for over a year and a half. The students are doing fine, but the classroom hamster has gone insane. The Dallas Zoo has been dealing with the disappearance of several animals, including a leopard, monkeys, and a vulture. In an unrelated story, check out my amazing coat. <laughs> a new study finds that despite women making less money than men, more single women in the U.S. own homes than single men, thanks to a phenomenon economists call divorce. <laughs> The Biden classified document scandal and the Trump classified document scandal are very different, but they do share one big thing in common. They both make Hillary Clinton want to blow our goddamn brains out. <laughs> <laughs> It would, have been, it would have been so funny if they searched Biden's garage and he had Hillary's server. <laughs> oh, Senator Rick Scott, seen here learning that Harry Potter has fallen into his trap, <laughs> announced that he is running for re-election, promising to finish the border wall and name it after Donald Trump, even though most things named after Donald Trump are complete failures. <laughs> Earlier today, an American fighter jet shot down a suspected Chinese surveillance balloon that had been spotting crossing the United States, officially ending history's most complicated gender reveal party. <laughs> and bad news for China, it's a girl. <laughs> a new AI chatbot has created controversy after it allowed users to talk with Jesus and Hitler and one guy who thinks he's both. <laughs> just news, guys. It was reported that last year the population of China declined by 850,000 people, thanks to an increase in China's leading cause of death, protesting. <laughs> China plans <laughs> to reverse the population decline with an emergency import of Nick Cannon. A 23-year-old chihuahua in Ohio named Spike has been officially named the world's oldest living dog. The secret to Spike's long life? A lot of chihuahuas look the same. <laughs> it was announced that Donald Trump's golf courses will host three live golf tournaments this year, furthering Trump's ties to Saudi Arabia. Their relationship makes sense. I mean, Saudi Arabia needs venues for their golf tournaments, and Trump needs oil for that big old dump truck. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> Disney World is closing Splash Mountain to turn it into Tiana's Bayou Adventure after complaints that its Song of the South theme was racist. Okay, but where's the outrage about Disney forcing a mentally challenged dwarf to mine blood diamonds? <laughs> Kevin Spacey, hold for applause, Kevin Spacey made his first public speaking appearance in five years where he thanked Italy's National Cinema Museum for having the balls to invite him. He also asked, could I touch the balls? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm kidding, he didn't ask permission. A lawyer for Mike Pence says that after they discover classified documents in his home, Pence stands ready and willing to fully cooperate. Incidentally, I stand ready and willing to fully cooperate is also what Pence says before sex. A genetic engineering company has announced plans to bring back the long extinct dodo bird, but only for a limited time at Arby's. We have the dodo. Earlier today, the FBI searched President Biden's Delaware home and found six additional Obama-era classified documents. Worse, one of them was Obama's real birth certificate. It was hidden in a copy of Black Tail magazine. <laughs> Police officials in Colorado say that a bear discovered a wildlife camera in the woods and posed for more than 400 selfies. 400 selfies of a bear is also known as a grinder profile. The revised AP African American history class removed the names of several black authors that Florida officials called problematic. Instead, they've been replaced with authors they call one of the good ones. <laughs> This could be good for me Lately I was feeling like I need a purpose But when you talk to me Give me the impression that I won't scratch your surface Tennis star Andy Murray was upset after an umpire at the Australian Open refused to let him take a bathroom break during a five-set long match. Worse, it was Deuce. <laughs> Researchers in Antarctica have discovered a 17-pound meteorite. Sadly, it was on top of the last polar bear. <laughs> Donald Trump responded to reports that Ron DeSantis, De Ron DeSantis will run against him for the Republican nomination, saying, we'll handle this the way I handle things. So rough and without consent. <laughs> Google announced that it is cutting 12,000 jobs, while Yahoo announced that it is now run by a family of raccoons. <laughs> AMC Theaters is celebrating Black History Month by offering $5 tickets to recently released black-led movies like Wakanda Forever and The Woman King. They're also honoring black people by starting the movie 20 minutes late. <laughs> Did you get that, Colin? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what you're talking about. A school official in Illinois has been arrested on charges of stealing over one million dollars worth of chicken wings, said the official. I swear, I was going to give all the money back. No, don't. <laughs> a San Francisco, a San Francisco panel studying reparations is proposing giving every black resident a one-time payment of five million dollars. Well, that's a fantastic idea, said the Gucci store. <laughs> a, ma <laughs> a mattress review site is paying people to test the theory that eating cheese before bed will give a person nightmares. But if you're in bed eating cheese till you pass out, your life is already a nightmare. <laughs> A Catholic nun in France who was believed to be the oldest person in the world has died at the age of 118. Her cause of death was listed as answered prayer. <laughs> it was also reported, it was, it was also reported that George Santos lied to potential campaign donors that he was a producer of the Broadway musical Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark. Though he did end up working with the Green Goblin. 
A drag queen who claims she performed with George Santos said that George did not have the glamour to be a professional. But she said another drag queen in Congress is absolutely slaying as the character Marjorie Taylor Greene. <laughs> has proposed legislation that would allow residents to carry firearms without a permit. Also, everyone gets to do one murder. 